Hello everyone, my name is Wendy Chu and I'm the Chief Fellow this year for the Abdominal Intervention Program. I'd just like to welcome you all to the Brigham. It's a wonderful institution and you'll have an amazing time in fellowship here. You'll get to learn excellent diagnostic skills, reading high volumes of CT and MR, learning from our expert world famous radiologists who are experts in their own field. You'll get to do a significant interventional component in this fellowship which makes it really unique and distinguish it from all the other programs. So we get to do cool things like advanced tumor ablation techniques. You can participate in research if you like. There's lots of opportunities um, in medical education, uh, quality assurance, um, clinical science, whichever area is your interest. And most importantly, the program here has a really supportive environment, which is really important to consider. And our program director is super wonderful and nice. And we have excellent admin staff too. Boston is also a really fun city and it's great to explore on your weekends and in your spare time. So be sure to check it out. I really do believe that this is the best abdominal fellowship there is. So I urge you to consider us. Um, congratulations on making it this far into residency and see you at the interview guys. Hi, my name is Borna Dibiri. I'm one of the fourth year radiology residents here at the Brigham. I've spent about half the year this year doing my mini fellowship in abdomen and I'll be staying on for next year for my full year of formal fellowship as well. The primary reason why I decided to stay here was number one, fantastic diagnostic training across multiple mortalities, multiple hospitals and different practice settings. And number two, the great interventional training that you get. I think those go hand in hand and it's important to have both of those exposures during your fellowship. And Another important piece is, I came all the way to Boston from California. I know a lot of people are very timid about the weather here, um, but I've survived as a Californian for four years. Boston has been fantastic. There's a lot to do within the city and the greater New England area, and you can be sure to find plenty of things to do to fill your free time. Welcome. For your CT and MR rotations, you'll be responsible for reading studies from inpatient and outpatients. You'll be very well prepared for your future career. There will be technologies and clinicians coming to ask you questions, so you'll be the decision maker. One thing I love about our program has to be our wonderful program director and very supportive staff. They really went out of their way to support me during difficult time in my maternal leave. So if you need someone to be on your back when you need them, when you're in difficulty, this is the program you want to be. Good luck. Hi, my name is Jean. I'm one of the Abdominal Imaging Fellow at the Brigham Women Hospital and I'm actually at the Advanced Interventional Rotation. This is one of the great rotation of the fellowship which only a few uh, hospitals offer. And you get to do a lot of cool and unusual stuff like clinical consultation, clinical follow-ups, ablation procedures, and MRI-guided prostate biopsy. Obviously, the best day of the week is the ablation procedures and you get to handle all the needles for all the procedures, so that's really awesome. And one other thing I like about this fellowship are the attendings. They are dynamic, they are friendly, and they really want to uh, teach you a lot of cool and interesting stuff so that you get better at in abdominal imaging. So, hope to see you soon. Hi everyone, my name is Jean-François Dupin. I'm one of the abdominal imaging fellow. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you about the Brigham and Women's Faulkner Hospital uh, rotation. So Faulkner Hospital is a community uh, hospital that's associated with Brigham, approximately 10 minutes by car uh, southwest. It's also ex easily accessible by shuttles from the uh, main campus. Uh, what I really like about this rotation is that it combines all of the other type of rotation in the same day. So we do uh, fluoroscopy, ultrasound or CT guided procedures, and CT and MR diagnostic reading all within the same day. So it's a fantastic uh, rotation. And, uh, this week I'm on ultrasound. Uh, the ultrasound department is slightly separate from the main department. Um, it's a really good rotation. You report tons of ultrasound during the week. You get to scan a lot as well if you want to. Um, and you get to work in a team-based environment and interact with uh, all of the various people in the ultrasound department. So it's a really good week. Um, probably my favorite thing about the uh, AI fellowship in general is just uh, the fact that um, there's so much teaching uh, that comes along with it, so you really get to improve your diagnostic skills and your interventional skills as well. You get a lot of uh, individualized feedback, uh, so it's a great year for improving yourself as a radiologist. Hi, my name is John Lee. I'm one of the Abdominal Imaging and Intervention Fellows at the Brigham and Women's Hospital. I'm currently in my favorite rotation in CSIR, or Cross-Sectional Interventional Radiology. Uh, so we have a very high volume of cases, including biopsies like liver, kidneys, 
true energies and aspirations, and you will be the one handling the needle and performing the procedure, uh, but help is always there if you need it. Uh, one thing I love most about the fellowship program is the structured educational teaching, which you don't find in many other fellowship programs. So we have educational lectures three, four times a week and daily case conference where we go over interesting cases from the day. Um, so I really think that this is the best abdominal fellowship program in the country and I'm very honored to be part of this fellowship program. Good luck everybody. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Francesco Alessandrino. I am uh, an abdominal radiologist faculty at the University of Miami, uh, Miami, Florida, uh, section of abdominal imaging. So I'm making this video just to give you a little bit my perspective on the fellowship of uh, abdominal imaging and intervention. Um, would I do it again? Yes. Would you do it again tomorrow? Yes, I would do it again tomorrow. And let me explain you why. The most important reason is that uh, this fellowship really prepared me for the position that I am in. So I feel if you want to work in a busy um, academic center in a section of abdominal imaging or in private practice, because that's the volume, I uh, would strongly recommend that because I feel I can work safely. Um, and this is due to the training that I had, the training meaning the fellowship in abdominal imaging intervention. Uh, the second reason, it's more like an historical reason, I did many other fellowships, they were all great, uh, this was the best fellowship, that's when I really realized that I really liked uh, uh, radiology. So, uh, taking it from me, I have no interest in saying this, I work in a different academic center, I would strongly, strongly, strongly suggest you to do the uh, fellowship in uh, abdominal imaging intervention at Brigham. Uh, even better, do the fellowship in abdominal imaging intervention at Brigham because it's a great place. You learn so many things and you'll be ready for your job, most importantly. Hi, my name is Kent. Uh, I'm currently working at Mayfair and I went to the abdominal imaging fellowship at Brigham and Women's uh, in 2019 to 2020. And I initially went to Brigham and Women's uh, for a couple of reasons. One was for the interventional program. Uh, I don't think you can beat it anywhere in the country, so it is, it is top notch. Uh, and then I also went there because um, I, I enjoyed the people that I interviewed with and I had a good feeling. So I went to Brigham and Women's Hospital Fellowship and I don't regret it one bit. Uh, the things that I loved about the fellowship, one, I think they're very, um, educational oriented uh, you're not going to be there just for service they really do focus on education and your own um, and your own future so they do try and cater to what you need for yourself uh, there are people there are just fantastic um, you know I got along really well with all of them and I know you will too if you choose Brigham Women's Hospital um, it's really good it's uh, it is a lot of work but at the same time I feel like it's really rewarding um, but they also give you time to explore Boston uh, if you're coming from outside and uh, to have a little bit of a life outside of work. So I think they, they do demand a lot, but you also get a good work-life balance at Brigham Women's Hospital. So I highly recommend it. I would definitely do it again. Um, and yeah, I, I thought it was fantastic. Bye. Hello, my name is Don Wynn. I recently completed my abdominal imaging and interventional fellowship at Brigham and Women's Hospital. I currently work at a private practice group in South Carolina. Uh, some of the reasons why I wanted to do my fellowship at Brigham is that you get both uh, diagnostic and interventional training, which is extremely important and also marketable when looking for jobs. Um, you also get to work with uh, world-renowned physicians, um, the attendings and faculty, so all extremely knowledgeable, uh, approachable. Uh, so there's tons of learning. Um, you get uh, daily great case conferences, tons of tumor boards, um, so I strongly recommend uh, Brigham Women's Hospital Abdominal Imaging and Intervention Fellowship. Hi guys, I'm Gada. I was one of the Abdominal Imaging and Intervention Fellows last year. I graduated June 30th and I started my new job the next day, July 1st. I was so anxious about the transition, but now looking back, I am grateful for this program for training me so well. They made it easy and I'm really enjoying it. I'm one of the body imagers at Brown University in Rhode Island. 
I love academics and I was inspired by the great academic environment that was shown to me at Brigham. Looking back, one of the main reasons why I chose it was because of my interview, my impression was this place is too good for me. Whether it's true or not, that's how it felt. The technology, the attendings, you train with experts and when you go to the real world, people would come to you and ask for your opinion because they know you trained with the best. And most importantly, if I had to choose this place all over again, I would do it for one person and that's Dan Souza. You can cut this if you want, but I love you and I'm thankful for everything you did for us and I know you will do for these guys. Good luck.